Hey everybody, it's June 27th, so this will make seven weeks of growing in my hydroponic greenhouse. A uh, few things this week. The highlights are uh, the new cucumber. He's kind of cool. And the fact that these guys are uh, almost nine feet tall now. With prints bigger than my hand. And the beans. Lots of them. The oh, whole thing here. Oh, they're everywhere here. And they took over, which is great to see. Good yeah. leaf. Well, the tomatoes are coming in finally. So don't forget to shake them. Just helps to pollinate them. Nice to see the flowers coming. Uh, more peppers here. I saw some other guys here, here, here. Uh, I think there's more down here. Yeah. Go there, go there. So that's cool. The ghost peppers are starting to flower. There's a bunch of them here. Look at all the flowers on the cucumber plants too. There's a bunch of little cucumbers coming up. We saw one guy, uh, uh, well, two guys now, over here. So this plant's up here. Coming all the way down. And the roots are nice and clean. Let me check out the beans. A little bit brown, but it's okay. The mulvine's coming up. This is uh, not in hydroponics. Just... And I did get a, another pea plant just in a cracky system. So you don't really have to clean it all that much. But I did have a failure this week. I tried to put another uh, plant I had inside and it, I think I drowned it. So. With the uh, Kratky, they got air roots. Uh, I'll show you on hand. So these ones should be air roots, so not in the water, just to help it breathe. But the plant I had in this one was one I had inside over the winter. Good the bell peppers coming. And the, the stalk was pretty long, so all the fresh roots were at the bottom and I think I just drowned it. It happened in like a day. It was quick. That's more green onions I put in. It's that lettuce bolted last week, so replace that. These chives are been super good. Swiss chard, we've been eating like crazy off these three. Uh, arugula's coming in. Uh, look at the strawberries. A bunch of them coming up. And then some feelers here. There's a couple more down here. So that's kind of cool. Check the roots on these guys. Nice. We got okra. That's uh, my first one, I think. Quite the root system there. So I'm just come back in. I haven't tried this one yet, but it's that'll be on my next basil usage. Because this guy I've used quite a bit then. Look at the size of it. As I said before, this is just a cutting off that plant outside there. Which is doing good as a normal basil wood. Butternut squash in the hydroponics is going crazy. So it did a, a big loop and then it's coming out here. And all the way up to the butternut squash starting there. And then all the way up. I'm just looking for something to hold on to. I gotta bring them back down. It was a really brilliant big flower. I think it was this one. This 
this morning. So there's a few more coming. Some peppers back here. This guy's been trying to strangle it. So I'm just watching that. Those tomatoes. The habanero. He's not looking too happy, but he's going. That one we talked about. This one we talked about. Lots of. Oh, really the pump turned off. It's easier here now. So this is the peach ghost. So on the second year. Oh, is that something in there? Yeah. And then the uh, sriracha pepper here has some flowers too. So that's good. This guy's just full of peppers. This is just the bell peppers and in, in the cracky style. Once again, you got air roots there. And I just use the General Hydroponic Flora Series. Really good, really tasty, everything seems happy. And it's all in the same system. The plants don't care, as far as I'm concerned. They're all happy. And they'll get the nutrients they want. And they all got an equal, equal, even chance because it, my pump does come up off to a T and then it does two big figure eights just to give even pressure to everything. Can't wait to try these peppers. And all these beans. That's just the one week's growth. It's crazy. Uh, and the ones outside, so I got this at the same time as these guys outside. Just go check it here. Uh, this I got the same time, the Swiss chard, just growing some in dirt. Uh, basil plant I talked about. This one's, this is two plants of the butternut squash. And it's doing pretty good just on the concrete. It's got some flowers. Uh, and I noticed that these beans do have some. They're not nearly as big. And the, the whole plant is smaller. But yeah, this guy too. So it's still a good size. Very small. And the, oh, I did get a pea out here. I think that's the first one off these guys. Yeah. Yeah, so these bean plant. I think these are the. Uh, I forget the name. Bean pole. I have to look. I forget where it is. But it seems to be a good brand. So that's everything. Check out the back way. All right, so that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week when it's growing even bigger. Okay, bye.